Alright guys, what's up? It's Blazin one here. Um, so right now I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to be a good commander in Red Orchestra 2. This also works for Rising, Rising Storm. Sorry, it's early in the morning. Alright, so right now you have your radio. This is your main tool. You can click control on your t um, radio right here. Don't... Let me get here first. As a commander, don't run up and fight with your guys. It's up to your preference, but <clears throat> from what I've seen, is a commander is all about micromanagement. Purely micromanagement. So, how it works, and what you want to try and do, is, so you have your squads. You want to hold T and bring up all your men in all your squads. Now you're going to have your squad one. Now look at look at his name. <clears throat> this is a big thing <clears throat> in Red Orchestra in Rising Storm. If you read the person's name and you figure out who they are, they will listen to your commands more because they feel appreciated that you know their name and you aren't just screaming out commands. Another thing is before we get started, if no one listens to you, don't worry about it. Go have fun. Go play. Switch roles. Your team won't listen to you. It's going to be bad. Alright, so to get started here, figure out who your machine gunners are. Hey, Say, hey, we need a machine gunner on the far right flank. We need. I usually get a machine gunner on my left flank and on my right flank. And I make sure I have suppressive fire down those lanes of machine gun fire. Then I get my squad leaders. So what I do is squad leaders one and three, you hold, you push in on the right side. Remember, you're looking at it from their perspective. So if you say bottom, they're going to be what's bottom. All right, because they're the way they're facing. They're going this way. All right, so you want to look at it from what direction they're playing from. So you want to say, squad one and three, you need to push up on the right flank. All right, so they're saying okay, and then the squad leader will probably tell them we need to go on the right flank, guys. Squads two and four. See, I take one and three because if you do one and two, those are one and two is always your most members. All right, and if you stick them together, they're probably going to get destroyed. I mean, they're probably like your left. If you put squads one and two on your left flank, the left flank's going to be really strong, but the enemy is going to be sneaking around you. So you want to have one and three because it's a big and a small holding the right. Two and four, so you have a big squad and a smaller squad holding the left. Now, for Rising Storm, you only have one, two, three, and four. But for Red Orchestra, you do have five and six. They're super small squads. I call these my special squads. So what I want to do with them is put them in the middle. All right? I want to put them on C. I want them to push up the middle, so I do... So, okay, I'm going to demonstrate. Okay, squads... One and three, I need you guys to push up on the right flank. Two and four, keep pushing on the left. Five and six, come straight up the middle. Give me new marks, I'm going to drop recon right now. Now, right now, I gave the squad leaders direct commands. I need the marks. And now I dropped recon for them so they can figure out where the enemy is. So now you want to give them even more instruction because you're the eyes in the sky. Most people, they don't look at their, at their maps. So he just gave you info. The squad leader just gave you info. Squad leader three. So he's telling you that he's behind the wall. So what you want to do now, since you have eyes in the sky, squads one and three, you guys have heavy resistance on the um, far right side. They're coming into A right now, guys. All right, so you give them, you want to give them communication constantly, because they, you see what they can't see. And another thing, as a commander, is you want to watch this right here. Your members dead, and you want to force respawn them around 10 seconds, and that gets them all off the list. 
So you want to do that when you have a lot of members. Like if they get destroyed in something. So just micromanage. That's the tip to winning is micromanage them. So one and three. Just micromanage. Call out recon. Tell where the enemy is. Drop mortars on a position. Just be like. So ask them. Squad leader 2, is that a good mark? And if they don't reply, uh, squad leader 3, keep it there. And then just decide what mark you want to use. Squad leader 3, and then they'll say good mark, and then you drop it on them. So, then you drop it. Alright guys, I hope you liked it. Um, this is Blazin 1. Peace out, guys. I'm going to be making more videos, so if you like them, please subscribe. Otherwise, please check out my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash blazin1. I'm streaming about every day. Um, come check me out, guys. I hope you like this video.